Jer, if you would just kind of help him up the stairs here, because Roy's getting a little older, and uh, and uh, so a lot older. A lot older. All right. Welcome. This is your living room tonight, and uh, so we want to ask you to come and have a seat right here. Well, tonight it is my privilege to begin uh, what I believe is going to be a, a wonderful tribute to a couple who have given their lives to the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. And uh, to start tonight, uh, it has been my privilege to uh, work with Roy longer than anybody left at CB Northwest. And so Roy was actually at CB Northwest before I uh, came to this post, and Roy, you have been with CB Northwest for how many years now? 25. 25 years, and uh, that's a long haul. That's longer than I've been on Earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Roy, one of the things that um, you know about CB Northwest is we have a tradition, and that tradition is that uh, those that have served in a extraordinary way, a way of faithfulness and commitment. Uh, we have a, a coin that represents who we are as a covenant community. And Roy, as you have uh, served CB Northwest for 25 years and have worked for um, uh, in many different capacities and helped in, in many, many ways. Um, one of the, the, the things that I want to highlight to start with, we're going to highlight a whole lot of things here in just a little bit, uh, but the first thing that I just want to highlight is the fact that you have taken on the ministry of prayer at our office in uh, an, an incredible way. And uh, every week you call churches and um, uh, before you call them, you send them an email letting them know that uh, you're going to be calling them and asking them to be thinking about the prayer requests that they would want to share with you. Uh, then you call and you write those prayer requests down and you, then you uh, copy all of those prayer requests for all of us so that our office can pray for those prayer requests. But not only that, those go up on our website so that others can uh, join in intercessory prayer for our churches. And it has not uh, been an easy ministry. Uh, I know that you personally have had to attempt many times uh, over and over a church uh, just to try to uh, give them the opportunity to share prayer requests so we can pray. And so, Roy, um, in all of my years with you, um, one of the things that just thrills my soul is that you would make the highest priority to bring our churches before the throne room of God. And so I would like to uh, coin you. And uh, for those of you that do not know, uh, our CB Northwest coin was uh, designed specifically for who we are. It has our, our three amigos on the front and uh, uh, signifying that we are a community. And it says on the front, CB Northwest Church-Based Ministries. Everything we do is for the success of the local church. And on the back side, it says CB Northwest, a covenant community of churches, and it has uh, the states that we serve in, uh, soon to add Montana. Um, and uh, so uh, we, uh, we'll have to change our coin in a little bit. But anyway, uh, Roy, I just want to extend my love to you, and I want to coin you and say thank you for your service to You're CB welcome. Northwest. And I hope that you two are going to have a lot of fun tonight, especially in the next 15, 20, 60 minutes. All right? <laughs> Let's pray. Father, as we begin to honor these folks, it would be our, um, our greatest joy that they would sense how much we love them. And we would pray that each activity that's going to take place right now um, would just be honoring. And so we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Angel? Thank you. 
Good evening, everyone. It is my pleasure to, to say thank you to Carla and Roy. I know them since 1992. When I came to know the Lord at a Billy Graham crusade in Portland, they were there. Mm -hmm. When I attended church in what was called Halbert Baptist Church in Salem, they were there. When I went to Bible school down in Texas, he went there. <laughs> and when, whenever I came back, well, after that, I went to Spain to, to be a pastor there for 14 years. And whenever I came, he was there asking me, when are you coming to the Northwest? Because he has, and they both have a heart to serve, serve the Lord here in the Northwest. And it is, uh, to me, a great example to, they have been a great example in everything they do. Because I remember going to evangelize over in Cove, and remember those muddy uh, roads in those rainy days, and Roy had his nice new car, and he didn't mind taking his car into those ugly roads. And somebody said, hey, you're taking your new car to the field. And he says, you know, I see this car as a tool that, the, that God has given me to serve him. And so he has been always, they both have always been able to give whatever they have to serve the Lord and to do it the best way they can. So thank you for your testimony, for your prayers, for your encouragement. And I want to read for you a letter sent uh, from a band from Scott Holbrook. And um, it, it, it is directed to Mr. Hafner. Uh, dear Huff, Mr. Hafner, as you prepare to honor Roy and Carla Levy for their leadership over their 20, uh, the past 25 years of Civil or West Ethnic Ministries, I would like to add my congratulations and commendation for a lifetime of service in missions. In 1963, Roy and Carla took a step of faith to join our mission agency. They were committing their lives to serving the Lord through missions and fulfilling the Great Commission. As life happens, many missionaries waver in their commitment to their call, but not so with Roy and Carla. They have never lost their passion to share the gospel with those that do not know Jesus and to help others join them in that journey. Their career in missions had not been easy. They have endured more hardships and trauma than most, yet they have not wa wavered. They never desired extra attention or appreciation, but they are heroes of the faith in the eyes of the missionaries of Avant. Roy and Carla have demonstrated a lifetime of faithfulness in marriage and ministry and continue to have great influence in Avant even after they retired. Roy and Carla have personally been a great encouragement to me in my role as, as president of Avant and especially through my wife's battle with cancer a year ago. Their caring spirits, spirits are evident to all. When they entered the same battle with Carla's cancer, it was our privilege to lift them up in prayer. While, while the ladies are far from done with ministry, as their time of full mid-time service is drawing to a close, it is proper to recognize the words that they will ultimately hear, well done, thou good and faithful servants. Well done. Thank you very much. And I just want to leave with you. I just want to leave with you, with you uh, these two verses in Genesis chapter, chapter 25, 2 and 3, when Jacob took his family. Look what he said. Then Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, put away the strange gods that are among you and be clean and change your garments. And let us arise and go up to Beth Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me 
in the day of my distress and was with me in, in the way which I went. You know what? I have seen God going before this couple all the time. And we were reminded that our power does not depend on the people who follow us, but our power rests and comes from the one that we follow. And I have seen God's power working in Roy and Carla because they follow the Almighty, the All-Powerful, continue doing so. Because by doing it, you, are, you really set a great example and a great challenge for all of us. May God bless you and continue using you for your honor and glory. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Carla Libby that I know. We've been around a long time, Roy. <laughs> we started out at the same Bible school, Multnomah School of the Bible, and Roy is immortalized there in the 64 annual as the man with a tool belt. Because while he was there, he was on Jim Withington's crew that kept the church, uh, church, the Bible school going. He told me the other day at lunch, he said he spent a lot of time in the women's restroom. As a farm boy from Port Orford, that probably was a new experience for him. <laughs> <laughs> and Carla, we have dear memories of you. I want to mention a few things that come to mind as uh, I thought of over the years. Uh, after we left Multnomah School of the Bible, of course, they went sometime later to the mission field, and we went on into the pastorate. But uh, my wife, Kim, was a, hadn't been married too long, she and I, when we went to uh, what was called Halbert Memorial Church, and now it's, it was North Salem Baptist Church. And she had never had children and not worked with children, and yet they asked her to be the potty queen in the preschool. <laughs> that was in our contract. Anyway, but Carla took her under his wing. Carla is a superb trainer in preschool. She not only kept our nursery advised what to do, but she took Kim under her tutelage and taught her how to minister to preschoolers. And she said all the seminars she went to, Carla, all of the things that uh, she had read about, that your time with her was more valuable, helped her more than anything else uh, with that age group. Let me tell you a little bit about both of them, but particularly about Roy. Roy has a great sense of humor. In fact, we go to lunch quite often. The other day we went to lunch, which probably may be our last lunch. I don't know yet, but I said, Roy, I don't remember you ever complaining. Believe me, I know what that's all about. I've done that a little bit. And, uh, and I was complimenting him because he seems to serve faithfully without complaint. <laughs> he says, what's your complaint? You pay for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and he always would sit on my desk, a, a, some, the latest thing off the internet and humor. The other day, about a week and a half ago, he sent one. It was about a pastor who had given up big venue sports events. And he'd given up big venue sports events because of these reasons. First of all, the coach never visited me. <laughs> Secondly, uh, every time I, I went, they talked about money and everything like that for tickets. Uh, here's one, if I can read it in this light. He, he, uh, here's two more, I'll give you two more. People uh, sitting next to us weren't very friendly, and they played a lot of music that I was unfamiliar with. <laughs> that says a little bit about Roy's humor. Uh, but I remember him 
as a person not only didn't complain, was faithful, willing servant, rich times of fellowship. But you know something? He'd been a missionary for many years and then worked at CBA uh, Northwest for 25 years. But he saved my Bible once. I got a telephone call from CBA about three or four years ago that they'd found my New Testament laying in the parking lot. It had fallen onto my briefcase and it was laying there all weekend in the rain. Now there's 35 years of notes in there from teaching and Bible school, seminary, and pastoring. And I just went sick because I could never replace this. By the time I got there to pick it up, Roy had already gone on the internet, researched on how to dry a Bible out like this, had little pieces of paper between each page, and it was well on its way to healing. There it is, folks, brand new cover, but same Bible. That tells us something about this couple. They have served our Lord and his churches faithfully through some pretty tough times. Roy's the only missionary I know that was held by communist guerrillas for over two months, a group by the name M19 in Colombia. And uh, Carla never knew what happened to him, didn't know whether he was dead or alive for quite a while. There they are. Praise the Lord. And of course, I want to compliment you both for your transparency during Carla's recent struggles with cancer because he kept us informed with the emails that were personal, practical, and transparent. Thank you, my friends. We'll miss you. And we you. <laughs> All, All right. right. Thank you. It's been my privilege to uh, serve with you, Roy, over these last 12 years, and um, my family knowing you for much longer than that, and so it's an honor to be able to share a little bit of, uh, uh, of, uh, of your story with everyone tonight. And that's right, you heard it uh, correctly, there was a group of guerrilla, uh, communist guerrillas that captured Roy. We actually have a missionary that has been imprisoned. Um, life-threatened, and, and a true hero. We're doing a series of uh, stories, video stories, with some of the kind of heroes of the faith and a, a heritage series where we're getting on camera the stories of some of these uh, uh, brothers that have gone before us and capturing them and just letting them describe their walk with the Lord and all the places that they have uh, uh, been led through, and we're going to catalog those and have those and then release uh, uh, shortened versions of those in our monthly Covenant Community Connection newsletter. And so the first one that I'd like to share with you uh, tonight uh, it tells the story of the capture in Colombia. So if we could go ahead and roll that um, footage. <laughs> In uh, 1989, very much uh, surprised to us, um, a group of Colombian rebels of the rebel army came in, uh, invited Dick Grover and myself to uh, join them for what turned out to be a 68 days up in the mountains of Colombia. During that time, uh, our family had no idea just where we were. Uh, my wife had no assurance that I would ever walk out again. And if I did, whether I would be sane and, um, and able to function. Uh, during that time, they did treat us very well. Uh, they didn't abuse us at all. I was never had a gun pointed at me, though we were under armed guard 24 hours a day. Uh, we were fed adequately, uh, spent 20, or had 20 different moves from one house to another in the, the rural area of the mountains up in Colombia. And uh, during that time, we got to know pretty well our captors. 
there were usually nine people with this. Uh, several others rotated in, but we were there uh, during that time. We were able to read the scriptures during that time because they did provide us at our request uh, two New Testaments, Gideon New Testaments. We read every day, almost all day, reading through the New Testament five and a half times through the new, uh, through Psalms and through Proverbs. We uh, were there uh, until the 12th of March when uh, they apparently were came to the point where it was not to their advantage to keep us on under guard. Uh, the head man of the or, the organization, the M19, um, gave orders to have us released uh, without payment of any any price or any requirements, and uh, we were put on the road and we were able to be released. Interestingly enough, um, we, the next day we were able to be reunited with our wives because we didn't know where they were, but they had been moved to Quito, Ecuador where our kids were studying and uh, so we were able to show up and um, get back together. Twenty years later, in uh, 2008, I returned to Colombia the first time and we were uh, able to meet one of our kidnappers who came and he was asking forgiveness of us for having been involved with our kidnapping. He was a believer, he mem was a member of one of our churches, he has since passed away from a stomach uh, problem, but understanding that at least another one of our kidnappers was had come to know the Lord. So we, we praise the Lord for having been with us, uh, came out completely sane. Well, some people may question that, but but anyway, we were rejoicing that the Lord gave us a time to have fellowship with Him. Dick and I still remain in contact. Uh, Dick is, continues in ministry on the foreign field, and I spending the last 25 years uh, working with the Hispanic churches here in CB Northwest. Roy, I remember distinctly with our staff gathered and you were asked to share a, a, a devotional as part of our uh, staff time. We were out at Seacrest Lodge down here on the coast and, um, and you shared a bit of that story and um, I think it was the first time that I had heard you tell it and at least in that detail and um, I can only imagine the, the imprint that that uh, made on your life but I think um, it has left an imprint on all of us to understand what it looks like to serve faithfully in all circumstances, and you've lived that out. I also know what it's like to work with you day in and day out. And when you do so, um, Roy uh, is, is king of the one-liners. Around the office, you cannot win with Roy. He has always got to come back and will always have the last word. And so I thought, you know, in one of those get to know you questions of if you could be any kind of superhero, what would you be? This should be your answer. You should be one liner man. That would be it because it would defeat everybody uh, given enough time. And we actually have tried to build this up for you, a little persona. And so uh, let's watch this video of uh, kind of a day in the life of our office and, uh, and, and goings about, so one liner man.
Good morning, Mr. One Liner. Oh, is it? What do sea monsters eat for lunch? I thought we were here to talk about the issues. Fish and chips. Fats ships get it? Did you get a haircut, Mr. One Liner? No, Jerry, I got them all cut, Mr. One Liner. It's always hard to explain puns to kleptomaniacs. Why is that, Mr. One Liner? They keep taking things, literally. Get it? They literally take things. They steal stuff. It's a compulsion. It's funny. Not the stealing stuff. That's not funny. You see what I'm getting at. How do you kill a vegetarian vampire? With a stake to the heart. Stake. Like meat. Because they're vegetarian. Do you follow me? What is a hockey player's favorite kind of drink? I don't know one liner man. What is a hockey player's favorite kind of drink? Penalty. Like tea. When they get a penalty. Tea. You see? How does NASA plan their company parties? I don't picture NASA having a lot of parties. It's probably a pretty serious place to- That's right, they plan it. P. L. A. N. E. T. You see? My fellow Americans. What is Bruce Lee's favorite drink? Wa-a-da-a-a. Get it? A cowboy counted his cows. He had 196. That's quite a few. But when he rounded them up, he had 200. One liner man, you win again. superhero has made it to the big screen and gotten lots of popularity and stuff they gotta uh, franchise that out a little bit and get some merchandise going and so um, every superhero needs their their very own not a doll it's a what is it called a action figure that's what it is so that's what we did right we made a one-liner man quick to the rescue action figure and this is what it looks like right there this is this is legit. We actually have an eight-inch doll uh, that he'll get. And that's not a doll. It's an action figure. Uh, you're going to get the one-liner guy, quit to the rescue, action figure. And you can take that with you um, as you guys are. Going to put it on the dash? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We also got you some other, some other gifts. Uh, we, you know, we put the word out to the churches that um, you were retiring, Roy, and they, um, Avant sent that great letter of, of uh, commendation in, and uh, churches have sent things in. I've got a stack of letters that have come in just uh, thanking you for your service and ministry, and I have those to give you. I have a card from our staff uh, to give you and stuff. So there you go. But we wanted to also give you a gift. And uh, you and Carla are going to be moving closer to family into the Midwest, and so we didn't need to give you any more stuff to be able to try and pack up with sorting Thank through. you. <laughs> yes, because I, I noticed that your, um, your health plan has included multiple trips up and down the stairs in and out of your <laughs> office getting things ready to transition here. So uh, we, we have a stack of Roy bills for you here. These are $1,000 bills. Um, <laughs> with Roy Bills, and I want you to have those, Roy. <laughs> and, and it just seemed like you, but I also will tell you this, that uh, the gifts and things that have come in, those are actually going to be good for something. Uh, they actually represent the money that we want to give to you and Carla as just a, uh, a display of the love and support that we have for you. I want to bless you in that way. Oh, yes. Test, 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 test. still work. All of you do know them uh, most poignantly for phone calls in uh, to your church to surface prayer requests. And, uh, and Mark had made that point that he would diligently call into, um, into your church and ask you what's going on. And we would diligently pray for those. And uh, he worked hard at keeping those lists up to date and uh, preparing those so that we could send those out and share those. 
And um, he was also always quick to pray for people just in the moment, uh, just be able to pray for them. If there was something going on, we would just stop and pray. And um, that was something that always always happened with Roy. And good things are going here. So we... <laughs> So Roy, the uh, the phone call should be coming in here for you to. There it is. How about that? <laughs> I think that's for you, Roy. Why don't you go ahead and answer it? Levi, this is not that I'm to be materialistic. <laughs> Just because I've got thousand dollar bills. Roy, Roy, it's Levi. Yes. They uh, <laughs> have given me a new job title, and that is to be, I'm going to be the next generation uh, one minor man. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about the next gen. So I have one for you. Uh, why can't pastors tell jokes? Timing. <laughs> Get it? Timing. <laughs> you can have that one. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Roy, while I've got you on the phone, um, First of all, I just want to thank, thank you for answering. That very rarely happens when you call pastors of the CB Northwest. <laughs> While I have you on the phone, it's important that uh, we want to get some prayer requests from you. Of all the years that you have been calling each one of us every week and us not answering, um, we have never, very rarely have we heard from you some of your prayer requests. And so can you share with us real quickly uh, in one line or less, some of your uh, prayer requests that you might have right now. We would appreciate you praying for us as we care for Carla's mother. She's 94. We, she's had a number of TIAs, and we're awaiting the big one. But meanwhile, we want to care for her. We've are going to take her with us and we'll be tending to her needs. And we, we love her very much and feel it's our responsibility to do that. Number two, pray that we be able to find a church we can work with that would share our vision or that would receive the vision that the Lord would sh uh, share with us and then it, that the Lord would open up a place of service, whether it's with a Hispanic that are in that community, that part of the southeast corner of Iowa, or whether it would be some other specialized place that the Lord has prepared us for. I think those would be the, the main ones. And of course, uh, that Carla's cancer would remain in remission. We thank God for how he has cared for us in that. Right, thank you very much. We're going to get those printed up, and we will email those out to, to all of our churches. I want to know that you're loved, and I want to just remind you when we first met at that church called Halbert Memorial Baptist Church. And so uh, I was reminded of that know, last night. Yeah. Proud to know you all those years. Hey, we love you, and uh, we want to bring some guys up on stage right now to pray for you. So, Sergio, bring your guys. Sergio, come on up, and thank, uh, you. thank you very much. I love you, Roy. Love you, Carla. Thank you. Thank you, Levi. So, just on behalf of the uh, just all of the churches, Roy, uh, we have something to give to you. Um, it's from all of your hard work and just it's our appreciation for all that you have done. And we uh, signed this board just for you to be able to remember uh, what you came here and sowed and what you saw grow out of our churches. And we really love you and care for you. And hopefully this will serve as a memory of our love and care and concern for you and, and Carla. And so... Uh, just know that um, we're always just a phone call away, and uh, we appreciate everything that you've done. So this is to you guys. And 
We are just a phone call away also. Thank you. And at this time, I just want to ask all of the pastors or leaders, anybody that you don't have to be a leader, actually, uh, if you want to come up and if, if you want to pray for Roy, you're welcome to come up. We invite you um, just to lay hands over him and, and Carla for um, just your going away. And we just... Uh, just to show appreciation for everything you've done. Uh, we love you guys, and so uh, please be, uh, feel welcome to come up and uh, pray for Roy. So I'm just going to have two people pray, and I'll just close out. Thank you, guys. Father, I thank you for Roy and his many, many years of faithful service, seeking to simply do whatever you have placed before him, accepting new responsibilities. And Father, you know that one of the things I love about him most is whenever he becomes aware of a need, even in the middle of a conversation, his habit of stopping and praying right there. And I remember when I first met him, he would say, well, why don't we pray right now? And now he'll just start praying. <laughs> and I love that, that he just, that's his habit. It's a great example to me. And I pray that you would bless he and Carla as they make this pretty significant move and as they enter a new chapter of life, may they sense unmistakably your presence going with them and carrying them forward. Padre Santo, te damos las gracias por el ministerio que han desarrollado los hermanos Libby en esta área. Te pedimos, Padre, porque tú los sigas bendiciendo que lo sigas utilizando para tu gloria y para tu honra. Mm. Señor, te agradecemos por el impacto que han tenido sus vidas en tantas personas que venían aquí buscando un sueño sin soñar siquiera que su futuro era conocer a Cristo Jesús como su Salvador. Y gracias, Señor, por haber utilizado a estos hermanos. Te pedimos que tú los sigas bendiciendo, fortaleciendo. Y, Señor, conforme ellos desarrollan esa importante labor de cuidar de la mamá de la hermana Carla. Te rogamos, Padre Eterno, porque tú les des fortaleza, porque tú, Señor, los guíes y que también los cuides. Padre Eterno, gracias por sus vidas. Por favor, llévalos al estado donde van con fortaleza y siempre, Señor, siendo tú quien los guía. Te lo pedimos en el nombre de Cristo Jesús. Father, as they go from here to there, we pray not only for your safety and guidance, but we pray for Carla's mom. Mm -hmm. And we continue to lift him up in prayer and support him. We thank you, Lord, that you brought them among us. We're grateful for what they've done for us. And we pray and ask you to help us to help them in the future as we're able. We ask this in Jesus' name. And Father, finally, I just want to give you thanks for uh, these great people and just everything that they've done for uh, our Hispanic community and, and just everybody else, uh, just for all the lives that they have touched. And uh, thank you for using them and letting, letting them be a great example to us of what it looks like to walk uh, with your Holy Spirit, Father. Would you just continue to help and guide them and protect them wherever, wherever it is that they go, Father, and that uh, they would recognize that you are with them every step of the way, just as you have been there all along. Help us as a, as a church, as a covenant community, to be able to continue to love and, and support Roy. Uh, this is a matter, Father. We, uh, we pray that we would continue to feel just as close to him as we do now. and. Uh, we pray that we would also just be able to take some of his teaching, some of his wisdom, some of his character, and all the things needed, Father, to be able to um, live a life that is uh, of honor 
And uh, I just ask a, a special blessing over them and uh, bless us, Father, um, as we continue to uh, walk with you and, and, and we continue in this journey, Jesus. And uh, would, you hear, would, your, uh, would your Holy Spirit just continue to be the movement and the outflow of our lives. And uh, thank you for all that you do. And thank you for these great people. In your name we pray, Father. Amen. 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 Amen.